For two days, Capital FM radio presenter Miss Mandy Saro has been trending after her former colleague, journalist Kome Gitobu, accused her of not being accountable for bullying him and making his experience at the radio station tough. The accusation started when Miss Mandy challenged Kenyans to be accountable for their action, adding that she does not like people who hurt others. The tweet read, I truly dislike people who aren't big on accountability. You can't go around doing things that hurt people, then you are afraid to be accountable for your actions. You are stunting your own growth." End of quote. Journalist Kome Gitobu responded by saying, Just sitting here watching the person who constantly terrorized and brutally bullied me the entire time we worked together talk about accountability. This woman would constantly call the entire office to a stop to make fun of my clothes when I didn't have enough money to buy the trendy shit she and her friends thought only those deserving to be in their princess to wear. This woman made up such hurtful nicknames for me behind my back and laughed in my face because I could not afford to order fancy food for lunch so I will cook my own food and curry. Kome said that Miss Mandy would mock him because he wasn't able to afford an expensive lifestyle. After the story went viral on Wednesday, 19 January 2022, Kenyans on Twitter started resurfacing news about instances where Miss Mandy had been accused of being hurtful to people. The story ran by a local newspaper where Miss Mandy was accused of physically assaulting her then colleague Anita Nderu at the Fairmount Hotel emerged. It is reported that she begged Anita Nderu for staying in the bathroom for way too long. Miss Mandy was accused of bullying businesswoman Michelle Talami, comedian Eddie Butita, and rapper Smalls Lethal. An email dated 2013 has circulated on social media showing how Miss Mandy rejected Eddie Butita's application as she claimed not to have laughed while reading the comedian's script. The media personality also demanded for gifts from artists who went to Capital FM for interviews. A day after her story went viral, it is sad to report that Capital FM fraternity has been thrown into deep mourning following the sudden demise of DJ Lithium, whose real name is Alex Nderi. Capital FM DJ Lithium Kenya died on Wednesday night, 19 January 2022, after allegedly committing suicide. May he so rest in peace. Sincere condolences to the family, friends and colleagues.